All right, y'all got my fire rolling this morning. Trying to heat it up in here a little bit. So uh, I think get started on my table again. Uh, I took this piece of lumber right here and milled with my chainsaw mill about a year and a half, two years ago. I've had it up in storage. And I just want to show y'all uh, this piece of lumber. So I milled it two inches thick and uh, five and a half inches wide. And uh, let me show you just the quality of the wood. Uh, you can tell it's not really rough, too rough anyway. It's pretty smooth to be done with a chainsaw mill. And I uh, just want to show you all that in case anybody uh, out there thinking about buying one of them. Uh, you can save you a lot of money just to mill your own lumber if you got the logs or you know what to do it with. So uh just want to show you all that. Fix put these uh, two four inch 20D nails in here. This lumber is two inch thick, so I'm gonna need some bigger nails. I just uh, set my board in place with my nail gun, but I'm gonna add some of these real quick. Let me make sure it gets a good hold. And won't go nowhere. All right, y'all. I uh, just got through putting this I-beam up under my table. And um, I decided to go with this design because it gives more options as far as uh, putting uh, tools and different things up on my table, whether it be wood or uh, shop vacs, different things like that. And uh, plus I can always come back and put me some boards up on top and uh, store uh, if I need to that way. And uh, it do doesn't restrict me from actually rolling things underneath my table. So uh, I like the way it turned out and them two, two inch uh, framing lumber there is gonna be real good. So next thing I'll be doing is uh, working on my top and I'll be finished with this table. <laughs> 